Alright, welcome back to the Dark Souls walkthrough. If you're just joining us, we just killed the Chaos Witch. So now we're going to kill the other one. And the reason we're going to do that is because she is actually a Firekeeper. That guy will obviously be very upset about that. Oof, these maggots are kind of crazy too. So be sure to just stay kind of at range of these things and just stab them one at a time with your great scythe. You'll have a couple of those and you'll be able to grab a firekeeper soul. No. Can't use the bonfire anymore since we just killed her, but it's really not that big of a deal. There's another bonfire right over here. That is the only way to get a couple of the firekeeper souls, is just to kill a couple of the firekeepers. Kinda sad, but well, what do you do? So, after that, I come over here, take this bonfire, all the way back to Firelink Shrine. There are two directions you can go at this point. You can either go to Nito, the Gravelord, which is where we're gonna go, or you can go up to Seethe, the Scaleless, which is where we're gonna go last, because Seethe is the worst of the four Lord bosses, in my opinion, so. Reinforce that Estus. Gives you a lot more sippy sippy. Always a good thing. Might as well rest just to get your bonfire, your Estus flasks all the way up to 10. And we're gonna go into the catacombs. This part can be pretty difficult, but I'm gonna show you a cool little trick to get through it. If you'll remember, this was the way we went when we first got the Great Scythe, so there are a few things you can get around here, but I wouldn't really worry about them. None of them are worth very much. Just kind of run past everything, all the way downstairs. Make sure you do have the new Sunlight Maggot Helm equipped. Gives you a nice little flashlight in these dark places. Helps quite a bit. Definitely just run through that part because there are a few guys that will just run after you the whole time. There is one bonfire up here that we lit before. So jump to the bonfire. Now from here, this place can be an absolute nightmare. But if you are careful, you can just take a shortcut the entire way through it, which is super nice. So, like I said, being very careful. I'll come right here. Follow that skeleton. Except land on this thing. Oofta. Oh, he followed me. That's fun. Watch out for the exploding heads. Make sure you have full Estus again. You're going to come right here and just kind of fall right off the edge. Grab this, and normally you can actually summon Solaire right here, but he just died, which is super sad. Sad, sad. Now be careful, because there are a whole bunch of these little assholes again. But if you just run through, usually you can get past them without them killing you. They're the little pinwheel things that like skeletons on wheels and they'll just chase you forever. Super duper annoying. So, if you can get past all of them, you'll start to enter the Tomb of the Giants, which is guarded by Pit Whale. Kind of a strange boss. Kind of a very strange boss. Doesn't take that many hits to kill. If you can't get a hold of him, he dies really easily. Kind of like that. He'll give you the right of kindling, which is cool. Let's you get bonfires all the way up to uh, 
plus 50, like above plus 10, basically. Mask of the Mother. He'll drop one of three masks. I think depending on which one you kill first, this one does uh, slightly raises your HP. Kind of cool. We are just going to stick with the shiny maggot helm for now, though. And we're going to keep on going. So, just kind of follow the lights. Having the maggot helm helps quite a bit. Let's go to the Tomb of the Giants. This place is quite scary when you can't see anything, but while you can see stuff, it helps quite a lot. So yeah, just kind of keep following these little shiny things. Uh, Oh, I hear an archer. Don't think you want to follow that one, actually. I think you want to keep going this way. And there is... Yep, an archer shooting at us right there. Okay. That just looks like death down there, so we'll keep going this way. Pray that this is the right way to go. Looking good so far. With the scythe, you really just want to be aggressive and go straight at those guys as fast as you can. Uh, there was an item over there that we missed, but oh, look, patches. Yeah. <laughs> this guy will just push you off the cliff and kill you, so. Don't let that happen. Just kill him instead. Yeah. Don't feel too bad. He would have pushed you off that cliff and killed you, so, you know. There's like a bunch of crazy things down there. Uh, these things are super annoying. They're very aggressive and they're very fast. As you can see. Oh my god. This is why the Tomb of the Giants sucks. So things like that. Hate them. Hate him a lot. So, go to the fog wall. Almost positive I just heard somebody behind me. Dodge the stupid giants. Fall off the right. If you can manage to get a hit off, those guys will die in one hit, so I would recommend that if you can. I'm just going to go right over to the left, and I'm pretty sure you'll find a bonfire. This bonfire is real nice. So once you find this bonfire, you're going to go over here, and that's the direction you want to be heading. Yeah, If you can, get to those guys before they get to you. It's always the best way to do it. Um, you're going to fall down here. Just kind of follow the right wall through here now. And you'll eventually get to safety. Oh. Paladin Leroy. This is actually a callback to World of Warcraft. If you're human, right here. Make sure you're human. If you go over to that ledge, uh, invader will come, called Paladin Leroy. You'll be able to fight him. There was a crystal lizard right there, but he ran away. Those things look a lot tougher than they are. Just same rule with the scythe, you know, just be aggressive, attack stuff before it attacks you, and you'll be fine.
that skeleton right there will just kick you straight off the edge if you're not careful. So basically, you're just whoa. Camera's freaking out there for a second. Now there's a whole bunch of pinwheels. They're still very easy to kill, but there's really no reason to deal with them. So just run past them. Now we're gonna fight Nito. Kind of annoying because you'll always lose a whole bunch of health right there. I'm not even gonna use my power within because I'm pretty sure that he'll just kill me. This is Grave Lord Nito. Giant pain in the ass. He also has a whole bunch of skeletons around him. If you can, just run away and kite the skeletons in a big circle. Eventually you'll be able to get back to him. Stab him in the face once or twice. But, you know, just kind of keep moving is the rule here. Because all those little skeletons will catch up to you and mess your life up. Or the big ones will. This is definitely another one of those bosses where you don't want to lock on. So just keep kind of running around that pillar and hitting him every time you run by. And eventually you'll get him. That's how you kill Nito the Grave Lord. You can actually come back here and join his covenant. It's kind of a funny covenant. You can like attack people from behind and stuff. Pretty hilarious. <laughs> so now that we've killed Nito, we only have one Lord Soul left. Then we gotta get fight the last boss in the game. So if you like the video, leave a like, otherwise, go away.